the lateral supracerebellar infratentorial approach. The lateral supracerebellar infratentorial approach can be used to access lesions in the lateral midbrain. This approach can be placed midway between a retrosigmoid and a classic midline supracerebellar infratentorial approach, or it may be placed in a position almost identical to that of a retrosigmoid approach. The benefit of this position is that the surgeon gains early access to the cerebellopontine angle fissure, allowing for cerebellar relaxation and release of cerebrospinal fluid. The dura is open based superiorly towards the transverse sinus. For the lateral supracerebellar infratentorial craniotomy, the opening allows development of the supracerebellar space, which brings the surgeon to the lateral midbrain. And through this approach, three safe entry zones may be visualized, although really only one safe entry zone can be safely accessed. The intercollecular and infracollecular safe entry zones may be visualized, although direct access to these safe entry zones may not be possible from this lateral approach. The surgeon does have a direct and non-tangential view of the lateral mesencephalic sulcus safe entry zone, which is demarcated by the fourth nerve and branches of the superior cerebellar artery. This safe entry zone can be used to readily resect deep pontine lesions located at the lateral midbrain. This axial section illustrates the relative orientation of the intercollecular and lateral mesencephalic sulcus safe entry zones relative to critical neurological structures deep within the brainstem.